Hello and welcome to Ham's Pokemon and today I have the second of the Shining Legend pin collection boxes and this one as you can see is the Pikachu pin collection and I have already opened the Mewtwo pin collection. I am still waiting to open up a Shining Pokemon from this collection so I am now 13 packs deep, I don't have any. I have two ultra rares and those are, I have the Mewtwo GX Full Art, which was, I opened from the ETB, and I have a Zoroax GX, so just the two, two's not, two's not too bad, it's not too shabby, but I would really, really like just one Shining if I could, that would be what I'd, I'd most like to pull, I guess, from this, as opposed to anything else. Uh, so let's hope that I can pull something along those lines. Here is the Pikachu promo, Sun and Moon 76. Beautiful card, Pikachu right up in your face there. Excellent card. And here is the pin. And I will put this pin... I'll put this pin, if it's ever going to focus. Nope, it's not, is it? Oh, there we go. I will put this... Pikachu right by the Pikachu there at the back and you can just sort of chill out There so I have three packs Shining Rayquaza, Shining Mew and then Mew 2. So let's see. I will go with the Rayquaza first See what I can get from this Pretty cool collection as you guys have all seen oh, I've lost my train of thought. Is it four? Yes It is so let's go ahead and see what we can pull. A Floatzel, which I believe is the only card that I needed actually that was not a rare. So that's kind of cool. Excellent. Energy Retrieval. Scrafty. Mine them. Jinx, the crazy Jinx. Ivysaur. Shroomish. Totodile, the reverse is a Sophocles. <laughs> and the rare is a Hooper, which I already have, but cool. Cool card still. Do really like the artwork on that card. But it is not one that I needed. So on to Mew. I will go on to Mew next. Move that packet out of the way. Here is a code card for you guys. I can't remember if I gave you the other one. Let's see what we can pull here. A Golurk. Another Scrafty. Another Float still typical. Didn't have any, now I've got two. Stumfisk, Minum, Boizel, Scraggy, Voltorb, just love that Voltorb, it's just so cool. The reverse is a Pokemon breeder and the rare is <laughs> another Zoroark GX. So I now have two of these, I have three Ultra Rares and I have two of the same one. So cool, right? Okay. That is a hit and so probably that's going to give me very, very little chance of pulling anything unfortunately in my final pack which is a shame, but whatever. We'll go ahead and open it up. See if I can get it shining. Not holding my breath now though. Okay, there's the third float salt in a row. So after having none from my thir first 13, I've got three and three there. Electrode, Carmine, Totodile, Pirate Litten, Purloin. Yes, Voltorb again, such a cool card. Gullet. Reverse to item and the rare is... Yes! Epic! Absolutely epic! Shining Mew. Probably the card I wanted the most out of all the Shining cards. That or Volcanion. Excellent. A Shining Mew. So happy to get that. Ooh, let's see. I don't know what I've done with all the sleeves for the Shining collection. I'll have to put in one of these for now. So cool. Oh, I love that. I love how I love how the Pokemon is textured. It's just so cool. It's textured and shining. I may as well go ahead and put Zoroark in a sleeve, I suppose. <laughs> now I've got two of them. I think they're going for around about $16 at the moment, the Zoroark GX. So it's actually kind of a cool card. I guess I could I could sell it, I mean, if I ever got around to it. So there's the two, the two hits from the three packs, which is excellent for me, really, you know, two out of three. Shining Mew and Zoroark, and of course the Pikachu promo, which I'll go ahead and put in the binder later on. So, and if you really want to see it, the Hooper, 
There he is, the Hooper. So excellent. So really, really pleased about that. I, I, something I was just thinking of slightly off topic the other day, and it's because now I obviously have a lot of swaps from this this collection of duplicates. I was just wondering, what do you guys do with all of your duplicates? You know, we all open a lot of packs um, during the week. What do you guys do with some of your cards? You know, some of those evolutions cards I've opened recently, I've had literally had like seven or eight of of some card what do you guys do with your guys i'd be really intrigued to know what you do with your overstock so thanks a lot guys for popping on by we've got ourselves a, a, a shiny pokemon eventually brilliant really really happy with that and so until next time guys this has been hammer's pokemon goodbye